So it's critical. And we find that 46% people quit their jobs because of the first-line supervisor. And it's not the first line supervisor's fault. You know, if they haven't been trained on how to deal with people, how to coach people, how to discipline people, how to motivate people, you can't really blame them. You know, that's why I love the military, because, you know, you get 20 years of on-the-job training. You learn about everything. So we appreciate all of you and the managers. So let's talk about one of the managers in New York. It was a client of mine, and um, I had to go up and make a, a monthly visit. And I always look for the best managers and leadership skills that really impact people. And so I met with all the employees in this one organization in New York. And the whole room was just there. They were just excited when I asked them, who's the best manager that works here? And they all just lit up. I don't mean like that. I mean, it wasn't California. It was New York. But they just lit up with excitement when I asked that question. And they said, look, Mr. Smith, let me tell you, there's a, there's a new guy here. And this is what he does. He comes in the office and he smiles. You mean all this education I got on leadership, it boils down to smiling? Sometimes. If you come to work looking like a sourpuss, what does everybody think? I mean, in the morning when you get up to brush your teeth or put your teeth back in, you should practice <laughs> smiling. It shows people you feel good or you got gas. I don't know. <laughs> but, I mean, believe me, a smile will change the attitude of people. Versus, uh, I'm really happy to be here today. You know, I have a little constipation, but we're going to have a good day. Just don't get too close. Another lady in the room said, Mr. Smith, let me tell you what he does. He says, good morning. This isn't rocket science, people. Smiles, says good morning. And one other person said, the other thing he does, he helps me do my job. He doesn't go in the office and do email. Email is probably the least productive thing we do during the day. If, we, if we're leaders, we need to be on the front line. I mean, I don't care if you have a calendar and you say, today I'm going out to visit my employees. I have bus drivers. I'm going to ride on that bus. I'm going to go out and help my employees dig ditches. I'm going to go out and see what their life is like. And you'll get a lot more respect than just sitting in your office pontificating. All right, so we came with the smile technique based on this manager. First, seek solutions. Find out what's the problem with your employees. Go out and fix it. Make yourself approachable. That's probably the hardest one, is, is making people feel comfortable with you so that they can approach you and tell you what you really